Oh, yeah. No matter what. I, honestly, I don't know if I could ever do a 20-piece McNugget, but... I've done 40. Nuggets are I have been a degenerate. I have done 40-piece McNuggets. Wow, that's I've, great. And I've binged me some Game of Thrones, all right? I, nothing wrong with that. But anyways, Raging Terry <laughs> starts off with... No, it says, you know what? This 20-piece looking mighty delicious. I want in. <laughs> oh, I could. We got a piranha plant, too. I literally just hit me here that we don't even get to see uh, this character yeah. uh, that much. Which is kind of interesting. I like it. I like that we're getting the battle of a uh, low mid, low mid tiers, which is cool. We've got yep. Donkey Kong coming out from Raging Cherry, and uh, so far, twenty piece McNugget is just not um, oh. hasn't even been touched yet. Yeah, and that's, that's such a good whiff punish because he knew that DK was going to come in with an aerial, immediately whiff, and then punish right away. Pretty good oh, opportunity, yeah. understandably. Ow. Raging Cherry is kind of playing the aggressor here, and for a twenty piece McNugget, kind of play the slow game and control it. Makes me kind of let you know what kind of the pace of the match we're going so for so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that up smash is super strong. Also, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you're familiar with his up throw as well. It kills super low percents and it does crazy damage. Yep. Yeah. And not only that, it's you see him going to kind of go for up smash. It's really good as an anti air simply because mm -hmm. you're going to anticipate DK going in for an aerial, something like Nair. Forward air. Those are usually the aerial. Sometimes you see DK, and occasionally the landing up air. But 20 piece immediately puts them off the stage. You have to watch out every single time you see Piranha Plant. Literally hold the spike ball up because the ball yeah. actually remains active until it goes down in the very, very last second. Oh yeah, it has to be like back inside his mouth. Mm. Um, but yeah, another thing too is that Donkey Kong has a really tough time. Oh my gosh. Okay, that, was that extends his hit box. Hit, uh, hurt box. As yeah, well, exactly. So it's scary. Um, but yeah, Donkey Kong is one of those characters too that he has a really hard time landing. So this mm -hmm. is actually like almost perfect for Piranha Plant because it's he's just he can't land, and if you're just catching him um, yeah. with those moves that are especially so strong are gonna kill you early, it's that's scary. It's hard for Donkey Kong. But um, yeah, and Raging kind of have like the right or the right plays in mind. Like I'm gonna go for a lot of anti airs. I'm gonna watch out for the landings. Yeah. I'm gonna respect the spacings. But one thing that I feel that Raging is kind of playing the aggressor here is. He's really going in a lot, but the one thing to pay attention to here is the fact that 20 piece knows that this is kind of a matchup in experience. Not a lot of people fight a lot yeah. of Piranha Plots. There's not that many of them. Plant Gang was out there preaching the, the, the world of <laughs> the planet, yeah. and then the character came out, and then we're like, yo, what happened, Plant Gang? And then he stayed quiet. Yeah, it definitely fell out real, equi real mm -hmm. quick. Um, definitely this character needs some buffs, but you know what? Uh, yeah, that's like a big part of it. People not being familiar with these matchups, kind of like we were talking about We Fit earlier. Just that uh, just tends to be the situation. But we did, we are seeing a character switch coming out from Raging Cherry, switching over mm -hmm. to Captain Falcon here. And um, let's see if this could pay off for him. What was the first stage we were just at? Because I know we weren't Battlefield. Uh, uh, right? It was going to be, uh, you know, it was going to be at uh, PS2. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. So, yeah, so we got a character switch and a stage um, counter pick as well, so let's see if Raging Cherry can uh, change the game. Looking a lot yep. better than the first game already. It's it's really good for any for Piranha Plant to actually have platforms, simply because he stays safe under the platforms. And if you want to go ahead and land on the platform or land on top of him like Falcon would with a dare, Ooh. you're gonna have something to protect you. Piranha Plant though is pretty heavy, and you oh have to God. respect the spike ball. It's got yeah. some crazy property and crazy knockback and uh, priority there. That's awesome. <coughs> Oh, okay, yeah, I was just about to say, yeah, he's going to have to watch out for that, too, because that is a tool off stage, kind of like Gordo that we yeah. can see from DDD. That's just in super... A, in a sense, it's kind of like a better Gordo, almost, because even though Gordo is hit and it does have momentum, this thing actually has such a lot of armor and health to it that it's it's really hard to actually challenge it. It's best to not challenge it, if anything, at all. Yeah, just try avoid it mm -hmm. in uh, all situations here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's even, even uh, stock and percentage right now. Cherry, mm -hmm. uh, Raging Cherry, definitely not out of this and adapting well, utilizing platforms on the stage. I know he did uh, his Raptor boost earlier, kind of yeah. followed it up with like some up air and then his up B, which was actually pretty cool. Okay, he just grabs him. <laughs> I, do, okay. I do like the fact that Cherry kind of like held that little bit of the space between there and then immediately tried to close up that space and respect the fact that 20 piece was going to go for an aerial and then immediately punish with a knee. That's a lot of risk. None of the reward that was found there, but it's still letting him know I need to start with punishing 20 because if I don't, then I'm going to be the one taking a lot of damage. Unsafe on shield. I like the opportunity to just take him off the stage and then I'll use the ball for an opportunity. Yeah, the spike ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, that backer is definitely going to take that stock super strong, especially at these high percents. Mm -hmm. And Captain Falcon does have that rage. But all right, falling out of that jab. 
down throw. Just down I throw, okay. Down throw Nair, usually that's one of the combos you could do down throw up air. It's kind of harder, it's only working on some certain percents. I do like the fact that 20 Those low notes. beginning percentages, it looks like. And anyway, everybody has their low beginnings, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty true. Pretty much for the most part, that's where you kind of start comboing is those beginning oh. percents. Because obviously the higher percents are going, the more knockback um, you're receiving and you can't follow up as easily. Oh yeah, wow, that was actually a really well-spaced back air. Nice, good up tilt. Let's play it, bro. Yeah, get to go. Let me be at the wedding. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, that's going to be a fun time for them. Oh, okay, yeah. And that, um, that poison cloud, yeah, definitely does a lot of damage if you're staying in there oh, and for a while. Speaking yeah. of a lot of damage, Raging Cherry able to take that with the back air. Of course, you are seeing the one on the board. It is going to be pretty even. Uh, both players are at 1-1, uh, so don't worry about that. We'll get that fixed. Um, yeah, we're going to take it to game three here. Yeah. And the, the one thing, though, that allows Raging to actually use Falcon here is the fact that you're able to zone break. Piranha Plant does suffer the speed, and the fact that Piranha Plant is very, very slow, doesn't have a lot of good speed. One of the slowest walk speeds in the game right next to Incineroar. Piranha Plant? Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the slowest run speeds in the game right next to Incineroar, so you have to, like, really understand, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my time to get to you. And Falcon has that ability to actually zone break because of his speed. Because yeah. of the speed, yeah. So that's one thing you have to really, really pay attention to. Wow, yeah, and that's another thing, too. I was just looking at that. His jab comes out super fast. He definitely, yeah. he's slow, but he kind of makes up for it with some of his moves that he has. And like I was saying, he does need, like, a few buffs that needs to be touched. Because, you know, he's low tier. But yeah. at the same time, like, he just still has a lot of cool options. His recovery is godlike. He's a fun character, regardless. And I like that 20-piece uh, McNuggets. Uh, try him out. I'm sticking with him. Yeah. He's able to actually use that. Um, as I mentioned, just to correct myself, it's going to be Incineroar, the slowest character in the game, and it is going to be Piranha Plant, the 40th slowest character in the game. I mean, we have so many characters in this game. There's about literally just almost 80 characters in the game, so for wow, Piranha yeah. Plant to be 40th, next to Falcon, who's ridiculously fast, you know, it's going to be hard for him to come up with an opportunity to get the matchup. Yeah, that's like kind of where I feel like Raging Cherry wanted to counter uh pick his the character because donkey kong is slower as well heavy but mm. captain falcon has crazy damage output and kill killing potential so it's like he kind of gets it's like better than dk because he's just like a faster dk with almost just as much power and strength exactly i like oh, the yeah. smash it's really good because every time piranha plant has one of those abilities in the game very similar to bowser jr where if you're actually inside the pot you do take some super armor and you're able to survive that's why mm. up smash is pretty good as an anti-air and when your opponent tries to land with you like falcon so it's pretty for safe theirs. for him to keep yes. on throwing out mm. okay yeah that's awesome i was actually like questioning uh, his up smash i was like hmm, like i'm not sure about that like he wasn't even like near him but yeah um, he has like head intentionality that's good to know yeah, yeah. okay so you need to watch out for that one mm -hmm. When he does his, like, down B, like that, which yeah. we actually haven't really seen him uh, use that much. That also has, like, a super armor exactly. on it, and it will, uh, you know, you can get hit by it. And it extends his uh, hurt box, but at the same time, it's really strong. It can kill at those early percentages while wow, getting <laughs> that connected knee to the face. Piranha Plant. Oh, yeah. 20-piece McNugget definitely uh, struggling a lot more than he was the first game. Mm -hmm. There's the whiff punish, though, with the forage man. Yeah. It feels like for Cherry, going DK was not the right option because he couldn't play that aggressive. But with Falcon, you kind of you kind of are given the liberty to play more aggressive. You have really good aerials. You have really good speed to kind of move back and forth. You're really good at punishing your opponent for going in. Good Ooh. setup there. No tech. Cherry took a little bit of percent here, but he still has a lot of the lead. If only 40 piece. I'm sorry, 20 piece. Oh, no. <laughs> he's, looking, he's, he's looking less than a 40 piece. Let's be real. He looks less than a 40 piece. Oh, yeah. He's looking like a 10 piece nugget nugget meal right now. No fries, you got robbed. You might as well return your, <laughs> might as well return your order to McDonald's and tell them, like, hold on, man. Oh, Where's my fries? Where's my shake? I mean, hey, no, like, he could bring it back. I mean, he's already racked up the damage 80% now. He's only at a stock deficit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be harder for him to pull this off, but hey, we always see stuff happen in Smash. And yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, there's that spike ball. We saw we saw him go for a forward smash there, and it's negative like 22 frames on shield. So you have to be go for it. You have to be careful for it. That's why we kind of see 20 piece use that more of a whip punish. Like yeah. he sees Falcon going in, then go for forward smash. But the, that's the thing you gotta respect negative 22 frames on shield. That's a little bit of time there. 
if 60 frames a second and th if 30 seconds, if 30 frames is half a second, mm -hmm. then 22 is quite up there. Yeah. And that back air is only going to give us less than the time we need to finish up this match. I'm telling you, man, return that nugget meal and tell them you never got your fries, you never got your soda, <laughs> and you never got your game. I, I was honestly surprised, though, he wasn't uh, using, taking advantage of the poison cloud and using his mm -hmm. down B to hide within that. A lot of, I, I see a lot of piranha play, uh, plant mains do that. They'll hide in the cloud with their down B and use 